if you did want to create another sandbox, you see that I have sandbox number five here. I can create multiple sandboxes or multiple pages that are sub pages of my user page. If it's a sub page of your username, no one should bother you and you can create as many of these as you like. The simple way of doing it is just to create a page by searching for a page you know doesn't exist. So Sandbox 5 already exists. You see it's emboldened. So let's try Sandbox 6. That exists. 7 exists. 8, ex eight does not exist. So I'm just going to hit enter to do the search and it's saying Wikipedia does not have a user page with this exact name. Do you want to start it? So I'm clicking start or to open up the page and you'll see it's defaulted to the source editor but I'm going to just switch it to the visual editor by switching to create. Now I've got all my drop down menus but I could also change it here if I wanted to go from the visual editor to source editor and it's easy enough to switch to and from but the main thing is it won't let you save until you've added at least one character of content you see that the button is grayed out so I need to add at least one character of text so this is so if I just put my cursor on here this is my sandbox number eight now the button turns blue and now I can create the page. Created new sandbox. Edit summary. Click to finish the save. And now this is a, a created page. And I can now edit to go back in and add more content to it. But maybe we want to make it easier to pull all our sandboxes together. So what you can do is you can take this top link because it is a link now. If I put it in the search bar, you'll see it's a searchable page. What I want to do is I'm going to bring this back to my user page. And I'm going to add it by pasting it in there. I'm going to turn that into a blue clickable link so that it's easy for me to find it again. And that's it. I just highlighted the text use the link button and then clicked on the blue button to create it as a blue link and I could turn that into a bullet pointed list if I want and add a heading my sub pages or my sandboxes if you prefer and then I can add many more to that as I go on but that's if you want to have uh, more sub pages in case you want to do extra work in different sub pages and that's it.